In late July of this year, the mayor of Spokane, Nadine Woodward, issued a housing crisis proclamation. She announced several measures primarily centered around higher density, more affordable housing to build out what she calls middle housing. I already made a video outlining the details of this proclamation and giving some of my thoughts too, so that's not what we're going to discuss in this video. You can check out this video if you want, and a link to this video will be at the top of this frame. My name is Phil Wells. I'm a real estate agent serving clients in and around Spokane. One of my principal interests in business and in life is real estate investing. So in this video, we're going to be discussing a real estate investment opportunity that came out of that proclamation. So let's get into it. So what is an ADU and why should you care? You're probably actually already familiar with ADUs. They're mother-in-law suites, casitas, loft conversions, basement conversions, garage conversions, and maybe even tiny homes placed on a property. Essentially, any additional unit that's based on an existing property that can house a person for the long term. ADUs were popularized in high density areas like LA and San Francisco, where space is at a premium and real estate costs are astronomical. There, it starts to make sense to convert existing structures or even build purpose-built ADUs in people's backyards to help alleviate the housing shortage. So why should you care? Well, if you're watching a video about a potential new investment opportunity here in Spokane, you're probably investor minded. Maybe you're an experienced investor looking to maximize your income from existing rentals. Maybe you're a new investor looking to make your first move or you're just a homeowner and want to make some additional income each month. Whatever situation you're in, an ADU could be a good fit for you. The strategy that comes to mind above all others is house hacking. I already have a video on house hacking and I'll link this in the top of this video and I'd encourage you to check it out. But really quick, imagine you buy a home and you pay off the mortgage over 30 years. Now imagine owning that same home but renting out part of the property. Let's say you charge someone $600 to live in a garage that you've converted into a studio. That's over $7,000 a year gross rent that you're getting from that. That's not bad at all. Do you think you could pay off your mortgage early with that? I think so. Or if you really wanted to maximize your returns, you could live in the ADU and rent out the house so you get even more income each month. By doing this, simultaneously you've helped to alleviate Spokane's housing shortage and you've begun to build wealth through real estate. Exactly the same principle applies to existing landlords. Maybe you could spend money converting an existing structure into an ADU or even build a purpose-built ADU and substantially increase the cash on cash return that you get from an existing rental. In both of these scenarios, the improvement would probably make the property more expensive in the future when you do come to sell. If you end up selling it to a family that's gonna use it as a single family home, then you can advertise this as an in-law suite. Maybe they can keep a noisy teenager out there or keep an elderly relative out there. Equally, if you sell it to an investor, then an investor is able to pay more for that property because they're able to get more in gross rents for the property. It's a win-win. So now let's look at the mayor's specific proposals. Remember, these are just proposals at this stage. So check the actual law at the time that you're thinking about making an investment and check with the general contractor to make sure you're up to code. The first proposal is to reduce parking requirements from one stall per ADU to none. Remove the owner occupancy requirement and related requirement to file a county covenant to that effect. Add flexibility into the size and dimensional standards. Reduce the permit fee from 650 to zero and expand permitted zones. I'm gonna include a link to this section of the Spokane Municipal Code so you can check on here to see if these updates have come into effect. This is obviously still a developing situation, but I wanted to make investors and homeowners aware of this. I know that Spokane is attracting a lot of attention from investors right now. I know this because I work with a lot of investors in Spokane, and this might be a strategy that not everyone's thought about. The population of Spokane has increased dramatically in the last 10 years. You just need to look at the 2020 census data to see this. Maybe in the future, home building and new condo and apartment buildings will catch up with housing demand, but right now there's a housing shortage in Spokane. So high density options like ADUs will likely be in high demand for the foreseeable future. In the proclamation itself, the mayor outlines the fact that there's a serious shortage of apartment rentals right now. Apparently there's a historic 0.6% vacancy rate. The good news is that if demand for ADUs does eventually dry up, then you can still sell the property as a single family home and advertise the ADU as an in-law suite, which as someone that works with a lot of buyers, I can tell you is a huge selling feature. That'll do it for this video. If you did gain from this video, please leave me a like and a subscribe. That really helps me out. If you are looking at purchasing a property here in Spokane and taking advantage of the newly proposed ADU changes, then give me a call, shoot me a text, send me an email, and we can work together to find a suitable property for you. Like I said, my name is Phil Wells, and until the next one, thank you for watching.